millions of guitar players who play Strat style guitars. How many of them actually know the absolute best use for each pickup position? Maybe, maybe some of them. But in case you don't know or you'd like some inspiration, I am going to cite historic guitar references, different tones from different songs and different players, and give you my thoughts on what I think the absolute best use for the neck pickup, the neck middle pickup, the middle pickup, ah, very mysterious, the bridge middle pickup, and the bridge pickup, what the best uses are for each of those, and maybe it'll give you some inspiration, and maybe it'll make you play your guitar in a different way, and choose different selections on the tonal aspects of your instrument. A guitar with a five-way pickup selector switch is typically an S-type guitar, and this is maybe my favorite S-type guitar I've been playing for the last few weeks. This was sent to me by the good folks from Paoletti that are sponsoring this video. This guitar is an absolute monstrous tone machine, and it's the perfect instrument to use in order to describe five different pickup selections in a Strat style guitar. Just a couple things about this guitar before we get started. These are shotgun shells. <laughs> this is chestnut wood made from over 130 year old Italian wine barrels. That's right, 19th century wine barrels. Uh, is what this guitar is made out of. It has a roasted maple neck. It is probably the guitar that maybe stays in tune the best for whatever reason. I don't know, there's something magical happening here. But maybe my favorite part other than the aesthetic of this guitar is the pickups. This is the Paoletti Stratospheric and it is equipped with single coil, single coil humbucker. Now I know what you're thinking, Tyler, this is about the S-type guitar, the five different pickups. There's single coils in all S-type guitars, that's like the standard. You're right, and I will be using other S-type guitars with single coils in the bridge to compare, but I'm gonna make the case why I think a humbucker in the bridge is actually the best version of an S-type guitar. In my day, we called this thing a fat strat with the single coil, single coil humbucker, or you may call this an HSS. That's what Paoletti calls it on their website. No matter what, we're gonna go through all the different tones of this awesome instrument and demonstrate exactly what your guitar can do and maybe a few things that you didn't consider regarding the tonal options that may be out there for you. This might be the best sounding Strat guitar that I have, and I'm not exaggerating, just listen. <laughs> I got transported right there. So that sound is the Strat sound. That's what I consider the Strat sound, the neck pickup, single coil, little bit of overdrive into a otherwise clean amp. And man, that's just <laughs> chef's kiss, beautiful sound. And a lot of it has to do with these hand wound pickups, but you can be sure any single coil in the neck position in a Strat style guitar is gonna give you something kind of close to that sound. So now I'm gonna go through each pickup position and let you know exactly what they sound like. Just no EQ, no processing or anything like that, just guitar into amp and we're gonna go through those sounds and then we're gonna talk about each pickup position and let you know where it exists in musical context, where it lies in guitar history. So we'll go through that quickly and then afterwards I'm going to put each pickup into a musical context and demonstrate the ultimate power of the neck pickup, the neck middle pickup, the middle pickup, the middle bridge pickup, and the bridge pickup, of course, keeping in mind this is a humbucker, it's slightly hotter, but overall, it's giving you an accurate representation. This thing's a beast, let's go. talk about pickups, the guitar verbiage voice, that's really appropriate here. These are different voiced pickups. You talk about 
customizing a pickup, you're saying it's voiced in a certain way. And voice is really relevant here because you can compare these to actual human voices. That's the way I like to do it. So let me think about the neck pickup. This is your full voice. This is everything behind it. Not too loud, not too abrasive, but full. It's kind of like somebody punching me in the gut. It's great for rhythm and sultry leads. This is the Strat sound. <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan comes to mind immediately. Really, every Strat player favors that sound. It's just the Strat sound. It's what separates this instrument from every other guitar, and it's quite beautiful, especially on this particular instrument. The school of Stevie and, you know, the Texas Shuffle. This is the Strat sound. some strat licks for you. Moving on to the split position between these two pickups, blending them together, this is somebody seducing you, the human voice. Ah, won't you come with me? So a little bit of, you know, neck throatiness, but still a bit of sultry rolled off high end. So it has that punch, but it's also very delicate. <laughs> notice there I actually rolled off the volume a tiny bit to give it that extra emphasis on the sweetness <laughs> So I think that this is actually the best sound for melody. And what I mean the best sound, I mean for like a ballad context or anything where you want the melody to stand in the front of the mix. And this is giving you the punch of the neck pickup, but also that sweetness rolled off of the bass to further push that mid-range sound, and that's why I think it can be very effective for melodies. Versus the neck. You hear how that's really full and almost yelling at you? Where this one, it has the same girth, but a nice, delicate sweetness. Inspired by the man who wrote. His latest album is very 80s-esque and I threw on a chorus pedal for this. I think it takes chorus really well and gives you that kind of plucky rhythm sound that we all know and love. I 
feel like I should be in a DeLorean after that. Moving on to the middle pickup, which is maybe the forgotten pickup. I've seen a couple different videos going into depth about this kind of overlooked sound, and I overlook it as well. I'm hardly ever in the middle position, but maybe this will convince both of us that we should be spending more time in this area. So check this out. <laughs> So this can be also a pretty sweet sound, but when you want it to be... It can yell at you, and not in the full voice, like... More in a, like... Sort of like if you're a six-year-old kid and you take a piece of candy from the candy store, you're running out the door and the shop owner's like, hey, 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 get back here, kid, get back here. You may find the middle pickup is like the most normal sound. I think Leo Fender, when he invented the Strat, he called the neck pickup the rhythm pickup, he called the middle pickup the normal pickup, and the bridge pickup was the lead pickup. If nothing else for like volume and equalization, but really I think normal is a great adjective. As much of a non-descriptor as that is, it's the real like authentic sound of the guitar, I suppose. So normal sound can really fit when you just aren't finding the right tone. It's the necessary tone when nothing else is quite sounding correct. This is actually an amazing lead position I've found. While I mentioned it can be great for rhythm as well when you don't want too much low end in your rhythm sound, I find that this is such a balanced, nice solo sound, especially for a finger tone. So I'm gonna go through both a pick and fingers for some lead stuff on the neutral, normal, boring middle pickup position. sick, right? Maybe you're gonna be using that middle pickup a little more often. As we move on here, we get into the split position between the bridge and the middle. And I'm going to show you the difference between single coil middle, to let you hear the difference between a single coil all the way through, single coil bridge and middle, versus single coil and humbucker, and why I think the humbucker is a stronger option tonally and otherwise. So get this sound in your ears. This is also like somebody yelling at you, but it's like a little kid yelling at you, like, Hey, hey, give me back my, give me back my bike, man. Hey, hey, give me that. No, no, give me that. No, no, why are you throwing it in the trash compactor, man? I just got that bike. <laughs> A little kid yelling. This one I kind of find is useful for U2, like the edge kind of thing where you pop some delay on there and roll the tone knobs down a little bit just to get rid of a little bit of that shrillness of the little kid whining about the bike. And after that, it's just beautiful sounding, mid-rangey with more concentration on the highs, but uh, poking through a nice blend sound for any track. <laughs>
felt like I was in a dream there. Now with a single coil, single coil situation, it's a kid yelling, but it's a kid who's like mildly annoying. Like the kid yelling about his bike getting stolen, that's a legitimate reason to be yelling at someone. Sometimes the single coil, single coil is sort of like... <laughs> It's just a little bit sharp and annoying. Hey, he has a bike. Mom, I want a bike too. Why does he get a bike? I want a bike, Mom. Nothing wrong with that sound. It's just a slightly bit abrasive compared to the humbucker, which just takes off a tiny bit of that tinniness. And you can hear it in the bridge single coil position here. <laughs> Do you hear how much more substance the humbucker adds in both of those positions? And it's substance in a way that is meaningful. It's not simply a different frequency. I think it's right there on the same frequency as my Fender Strat, but it just has a different dynamic, a different feel. And for a guitar player, you kind of have to be careful on the bridge pickup of a Strat because it can be really, really screeching, almost like a cat wailing in the night. You notice the difference between fingers and pick can add just a tiny bit of extra stank on the note. I can actually give you the little Mark Knopfler. <laughs> So that's the bridge middle position split. That's sort of like the finger tone, sultry, sweet spot. And then I don't know if I assigned a voice to the bridge, but that's like someone screaming at you. Not, not yelling like the neck pickup, not this, but screaming. <laughs> See how much high end is taken off in the neck pickup, obviously, versus the bridge pickup. And the bridge, for me, is the rock and roll setting in a five-way pickup selector. It is the best point to inject a wah pedal, in my opinion, because the wah pedal just adds chaos to the sonic landscape of an already chaotic sound that is the bridge on a Strat style guitar. And well, some may say it tames it. I'm gonna let it loose. Well, that was absolutely devastating and wonderful. Damn, this guitar is awesome. So that's the whole gamut of a five-way pickup set in a Strat style guitar. Obviously the humbucker is going to add a little bit more on these top two positions, but 
really, I think the main uses for these are translatable no matter if you have a single coil or a humbucker in that bridge. Like I said, you can have humbuckers you know, in any S-type guitar, but I think this is the most classic modification. It's the most useful, it's the most modern adaptation for any guitar player who actually wants to make use of this bridge position. I hardly find myself on the bridge position in a single coil setup guitar. I always find myself either in the neck or the neck middle. So there you have it, my friends, the five pickup positions of a Strat style guitar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to Paoletti for sending this awesome guitar my way and sponsoring the video. And leave a comment what your favorite position of a Strat style guitar is. I'd love to hear from you guys. Till next time, keep shredding.